Hello my friend, in this lecture you will learn how to apply this into this game and also how to make it possible to move up and down and I will show you how to solve movement, how to solve the script like this using proper prompts to AI. We've got our player and he can now move using something what is called UI left and UI right actions and all these actions come from something what is called input. So you put into the game the action from, for example, controller that I'm holding or from, for example, mouse or keyboard or any other device that can put in the game actions. And UI left is defined and UI right is defined by Godot creators and it is visible in project, project settings, input map and here you have something that is called show built in actions and as you can see when we move here we have UI left, UI right but you should use UI left and UI right for things that are responsible for user interface not for movement in your game so it means that we should create our own actions that will be responsible for player movement. So let's turn off show building actions and here in input app you can add new action name. Let's call it for example move left. Let's click on add and here as you can see no keys are assigned mapped to mapping means assigning something. So in our situation it's assigning keys to move left and when I click on the add event, I can listen for the input from my keyboard, for example. So when I hit the left key arrow, as you can see, I do not need to find it somewhere here filtering. It just listened to the input and I hit accept. Now I hit A, because why not? Let's use also A shortcut for left movement. Now I have got my Xbox controller and when I hit another time the joypad left button and then the joystick left. Let's practice it. So move right, add, plus, now it's listening. So I'm adding all the movements. All right, we have got now all movement types. And now I will make something funny. I will make a screenshot, but why? because I need to give context to AI. Otherwise, it will not be able to properly write code for us. So I'm pasting the context, like what actions we have. I will explain what I have just pasted. The screen above shows movements, actions I have defined, okay? So I just informed AI from the previous lectures that have context of our entire project. Remember, this is very important that it has the context. And now I'm just adding more context that I did something that AI didn't see, right? Because I added new actions. Can you apply these actions to our current player that, that GD, right? Because uh, that's how it's called, right? Player GD and make it possible so the player can move also up and down diagonally. Remember, super important thing is that there is context, right? Otherwise, it will give you lots of weird code that probably will not work. When I copy it into our game, into the player script, right? Well, sometimes errors like that happens. Why? because AI sometimes uses old API. So uh, these are errors that happened. Please make sure to check internet before fixing the code. And then we can now copy it to our game and let's run it. As you can see now we can move up and down. Everything is working properly, but we need to remove our floor boundary so we can move further. Like, okay, now we can move everywhere, right? Um, and uh, there is some kind of uh, like leftover from the movement speed. This should fix it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, it's fixing it. I, I could ask AI how to do it. That's why it's good to know a bit about programming sometimes. 
And now notice that we need to also make the goblins to move towards us. So how do we do it? Let's go to our enemy script, right? And now let's ask AI. So can you make the enemy GD script currently? make enemies follow the player vertically in any direction remember to check internet it's good to always add this at the end so he has like you know the newest knowledge regarding godot right but <laughs> it happened to me that sometimes when you tell it to use internet it will get to people that had problems and didn't solve it so <laughs> it's not always best idea but hey you know it really depends okay as you can see, enemies are now following 